Let me introduce you to a new feature of Davily language in version 2025. This new feature allows for a clearer, more concise code. It's one of those features that once you have it, you can hardly live without it. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new window. So I'll go window, window, blank. I'm going to name it calculate total. Very good. And in this window, I'm going to create three edit controls. So I'll select currency, I'll drop it once, and I'm going to name it subtotal. So I can simply copy this control and I'm going to paste it once. I'm going to name it tax. And second time, and now I'm going to name it total. Very good. So I'm going to change the type of the second control. Instead of currency, I'm going to check numeric. And I'm going to use a percentage input mask. I'll apply changes. Very good. Okay, I will resize my window. And now what I want to do is that when the user modifies the price before tax or the subtotal, I want to recalculate the total. And when the user modifies the tax rate, I also want to modify the total and to have it automatically updated. So I'm going to create a procedure. I'm going to go to the code editor. I'm going to name my procedure, calculate total. Very good. And in the code, I'll take my total. So that's EDT total equals EDT subtotal times one plus ADT tax. Very good. I typed one uh, because uh, we used a percentage mask and the value returned is already divided by 100. And where do we call this procedure? You might say in the modification event of the price before tax, the subtotal, and in the modification event of the tax rate. But one, what if one of the two values is changed by another process? You'll also have to remember to call the procedure in that process. And what's more, you need to know that such process exists. So it's not that simple. In version 2025, I'm using a new concept. It's called reactive procedure. So I'll simply add the reactive keyword to the procedure. Now, this procedure is called automatically as soon as the subtotal or the VAT rate changes. So let's run our test. Okay, so I'm going to enter a price. Very good. And I'm going to enter a VAT rate. Very good. So as you can see, the total was automatically updated. So let me change the subtotal once again. Very good. As you can see, the total is updated. And let me change the, the tax rate once more. And as you can see, the total is updated automatically and instantly. And now you might be wondering, where did he call this procedure? And the answer is nowhere. I don't need to call the procedure because I'm using the new concept of reactive procedure. So how does a reactive procedure work? Well, each time the user or another process modifies one of the controls or one of the variables used in the reactive procedure, the framework automatically executes this reactive procedure. In fact, in the code, the variables and controls that trigger the procedure are highlighted in blue. By modified, we mean either modified by the user, for example, when the user enters a value in a control, or modified programmatically, for example, by a timer, a callback, a procedure, etc. As you can see with reactive procedures, you, can con you concentrate your code in a single place to update controls, and it's fully automated. Of course, you can have several reactive procedures in the same window. And then if one reactive procedure changes the value of a control or a variable, it can trigger another reactive procedure. In other words, they adopt a cascading behavior. And Windiv makes sure that there are no calls in a loop between reactive procedures. Okay, so we've seen reactive procedures in a very simple example, but what would you have a more elaborate window like this? Well, uh, let's take a look. Let's simply modify the discount control. As you can see, the total is updated. Uh, now let's change the country. As you can see, the total is updated as well. Uh, so I'm going to check a free shipping. And as you can see, the control is grayed out and the total is updated. 
So all you need is a reactive procedure that handles all these cases, that observes all the controls and all the variables, and that will also execute automatically. In this case, it also helped us grade out the control. So I can add uh, this procedure in the window, and I don't need any other code, no other calls. And imagine when you or one of your colleagues comes back to this code six months later. There's no maintenance. In technical terms, with reactive procedures, you can easily implement an observer design pattern in your applications. But because I'm using Windiv, I'll say this is just awesome. It's fully automated, like most features in Windiv, and that alone is one major reason to upgrade to Windiv 2025.